Hey there. It's been a while. You know, uh, there's no more uh, GPU shortage anymore, so there's no more reason for me to make content. Um, well, recently I've been busy, and uh, nowadays I want to, you know, start making content. Uh, last year, Tech yes City gave me this uh, 5600G, tried to fix the pins on it, see what I could do. It's, uh, they're quite bent, actually, and several are missing. So I thought maybe we could give it a shot. So right now I'm just gonna put this away and show you what the issue is. So if I try to put the uh, CPU inside the uh, socket, part of it only goes a little bit inside, but you can't really get anything, uh, anything any way in. So we don't give it a shot. Okay, we've got one more corner in.
and it's in. The CPU is in. It was a little bit rough, but Yep, no issues. Let's try it again. Perfect. And the CPU is in. Now, we don't know if it's going to work or not because many pins are missing. We're going to have to uh, replace those pins later on if, uh, if it doesn't work. And I think it's probably not going to work due to the amount of uh, pins that are just uh, missing. So, uh, But we'll go find out. We'll uh, cut it here and then uh, once we get a uh, test bench set up, we'll uh, turn it on and see what happens. Alrighty, so uh, we just got the CPU in and uh, if you can take a look, it's right in here and we're going to uh, try to turn it on. Alrighty, let's get the uh, power in. Alrighty, moment of truth. We're gonna turn it on and uh, give it a shot. Put a heat sink onto it to uh, keep it cool. Just temporarily. It appears that the uh, CPU is dead. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to uh, replace those pins if we want to get it working. Because if we see here the uh, debug LEDs over here, they should be changing as uh, the uh, CPU boots up. But if the CPU doesn't boot up, then it's going to be uh, stuck at this. We can always try again. Yeah, that CPU LED is not changing. So these uh, LEDs right here, nope. 